at this graph, figure D depicts the LM curve. It slopes upward. What is the reason for LM curve to slope upward? The responsiveness of speculative demand to the change in transaction demand after a change in the income is the basic reason for LM curve to assume a positive slope. On the face of it, the reason I have stated may confuse some of you. But in fact, it is not as complicated as it appears to be. Follow my discussion closely. Initially, the money market is in equilibrium at point G on the LM curve. It is a common practice with every community to keep a proportion of its income in the form of cash towards transaction motive. In our case, the community wants to keep half of its income, that is 50% of its income in the form of cash towards transaction motive. Accordingly, 60 rupees from 100 rupees total money is diverted for transaction motive. It so happens at the prevailing interest 4%. The community wants to hold 40 rupees in the form of cash towards a speculative motive. It means 40 rupees is diverted from total money supply to speculative motive. Total demand for money 60 rupees plus 40, 100 rupees is equal to supply of money 100 rupees. The money market is in equilibrium. What is to be kept in our mind here is the total money supply is diverted between transaction motive and speculative motive. If transaction motive demands more money, the speculative motive must divert that amount. For one reason or another, if transaction motive demands less money, the speculative motive must be in a position to absorb the surplus amount. Thus, total money is distributed among these two motives. With this understanding, we shall proceed further. A fresh investment is undertaken in the goods market. The income goes up from 120 rupees to 144 rupees. It is echoed in the money market. The transaction motive in the money market reacts to this. According to the convention, it decides to have 50% of the new income, that is 72 rupees in the form of cash. Already 40 rupees at 4% interest has been marked for speculative motive. Unless it releases the excess amount of 12 rupees, equilibrium cannot be established in the money market. Speculative motive immediately responds to it. It starts selling securities and bonds. The security and bond prices fall. The community moves up along the LP curve and reach the point R. Now speculative demand for money is 28 rupees. The surplus money 12 rupees is transferred through transaction motive. Total demand for money is 72 rupees plus 28 rupees. 100 rupees is equal to supply of money 100 rupees. But look at the interest rate. It is 5% now. Money market moves up along the LM curve and form a new equilibrium at point H. After an increase in income, equilibrium is possible only at a higher interest rate. The reverse is equally true. After a fall in income, equilibrium is possible only at a lower interest rate. This is the reason for the LM curve to slope upwards. Our lesson ends here. Vanakkam. We shall meet again in the next